high cheekbones, full lips, flawless skin, and non-stop legs. All packaged in a way that's breathtakingly beautiful. These qualities are mandatory for becoming a top model. And here are the ladies that have what it takes. They're the best new models from 25 different countries, but one will be singled out and named Supermodel of the World. The world's most prestigious model search began in 1979 as face of the 80s. As a decade progressed, the name was changed to Supermodel of the World. At stake, a quarter of a million dollar modeling contract with super agent Eileen Ford. It's the best group we've ever had. I, and I don't know, I don't know why, it just happens to be the prettiest group we've ever had. And the potential for us as agents is enormous. The potential for the models is just as great. One former winner, Renee Siemenson, has appeared on more covers than any other model except Brooke Shields. Last year's supermodel, Monica Schneer, was only 14 when she won the title. I grew up, you know, lanky and, um, you know, the ugly duck thing, you know. <laughs> I never imagined I would ever model or even achieve any sort of success doing it. Immediately after winning, Monica landed modeling's most coveted job, the cover of Vogue. To get to the world finals, models are chosen by contests and agents in their own countries. The USA's entry is Sandy Litchfield, who has discovered modeling in Colorado. This is the big step, just getting here. And all, I think all the models that are here Especially this year, there's a lot of pretty girls, and they'll all go on to do well, I think. Vanessa Bauman of Belgium has been modeling only five months. Her goal, to become a top cover girl. Yeah, why not? Vogue, Cosmopolitan, <laughs> Harper's Bazaar to Vegas. And then there's Alona, a 16-year-old schoolgirl from Israel. She's a little bit reluctant about the possibility of winning. If I win, I will be... I'm sure I will be happy, but it's fri it frightens me because it's going to change my whole life. I think I will have to go to live here in, in New York. I mean, and maybe to, not to go to school anymore. I don't know. I'm afraid of winning. It's a photographer's version of heaven during the two weeks of competition as the contestants pose for thousands of pictures. The judges are looking for someone who goes beyond being photogenic, something Eileen Ford calls the X Factor. The trouble with the X Factor is I don't know what it is. It's what you can't tell about a model. You know, you can see a girl who's beautiful, you know, and you, she's got everything going for her, and you put her in front of a camera and she's just there, you know, she's dead and she won't lie down. But you can get a girl who looks pretty good. And you take her picture, and she comes alive to the camera. Pity the judges who can only pick one. Tonight, from New York, America's fashion capital, and in Orlando, Florida, America's vacation capital, 25 beautiful women from around the world compete for modeling's biggest prize. The field is narrowed to six finalists, including the models from the USA, Belgium, and Israel. Completing the list, Andrea from Iceland, Truda from Norway, and Celia from Spain. Some special preliminary awards are given by sponsors. Alona from Israel wins Best Smile, and Belgium's Vanessa wins the award for Best Hair, plus gets a lucrative contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. But when it comes time for the grand prize winner, Eileen Ford takes the stage. From Spain, it is Celia Forner. <laughs> Celia Forner, the new supermodel of the world, is on her way. She has the eyes, the lips, the cheekbones, the legs, and yes, that magic X factor. You'll be seeing more of Celia in the months to come. And you'll be seeing some of the others, too, because Eileen Ford has spotted more than one potential superstar.